Hello, this is Arslan. I'm back again with a new project on modeling degradation in vascular stent, in biodegradable vascular stent and bone plate. The material that I'm using for a degradation modeling is polylactic acid. Let's proceed and first of all, I will explain the use of this project and why this project is of benefit and why degradation is important. So these are the few benefits of the degradation. First of all, it reduces the risk of re-intervention. As we all know, there is a need of a second surgery to remove the implant after a bone fracture. So this is the use of this biodegradable implant. Uh, this the use of this biodegradable implant eliminate the need of second surgery. Secondly, the improve healing and biocompatibility. Uh, bio as we all know that these implants degrade and, and they are absorbed by the body. So the risk of the reaction, adverse reaction or reduction compared to the uh, permanent implant is avoided by using this biodegradable implant. Also, these implants eliminate the need of long-term presence. So, as we all know that uh, normal uh, steel or titanium implants remain inside the body even after the healing. So, the use of these biodegradable implant uh, does not like needs to, uh, uh, for example, after using this biodegradable implant, the need of the uh, permanent uh, object of for permanent foreign material inside the body is avoided. Secondly, so let's go to the paper that I'm following for I am following as a reference to model the degradation for PLA bio, bio absorbable or biodegradable vascular stunt and Later in the study, I will extend this model to the biodegradable bone plate as well. So let me let me give an, uh, an overview of this paper. So the biodegradable present plant that I am using is the same diameter is of three point is, is having a, is having an outer diameter of three point five millimeter and a thickness of zero point one five mm, and the same dimension that that I am using in my own model. The material that I'm using is PLA, but the material that I'm using, I'm using the complete stress strain curve of the material in order to uh, uh, predict the accurate behavior during the degradation process. Before the degradation process, there are few phenomena that need to be understand very understand accurately. First of all, degradation degree. So, what is degradation degree? So, degradation degree is basically the change in either the fracture strain or the ultimate tensile strength after the degradation after a certain degradation time. For example, if you can see over here, after five days, the implant degraded or the total degradation degree is zero point two. And after 10 days, the degradation degree is 7 is 0 0.28. After 15 days, it is 0 0.4. And after 25, it is 0 0.5. And after 40 days or, or after 35 days, it is 0 0.71. So it means that after the, uh, 35 days, the implant has degraded about 71% of its total mass. So this is basically the degradation degree. So how this degradation degree is calculated? So degradation degree is calculated using this formula. The initial strain minus the strain after the certain degradation time divided by the original strain. Secondly, the degradation is also a function of not just the strain, it is also the function of time. But for example, what is the degradation after one day, after one month, two months, three months, or four months? Secondly, the element deletion criteria. So in, in this subroutine or in this code that I am using, we have to like link the element deletion with the degradation. So the fracture strain versus the degradation are linked by this equation. So if the basic theory, the basic line that I'm using for element deletion is if the fracture strain if you can see over here that that was the maximum principal stress which is strain decreased to lower the fracture strain. Let me highlight so that we can understand it correctly. So this one. So this is the degradation equation that I'm using. That once the maximum 
principal strain or stress decrease to lower then the fracture strain or the ultimate stress if you are using the stress then the fracture will be nature in the PLA stunt using the element depth technique and this is the code that I'm using in my VSUFLD subroutine these are the parameter of the degradation and this is the days and this is the equation that I'm using for the degradation modeling so if the if the initial if the fracture strain calculated from here exceeded the maximum principal strain then we need to delete that element so this is the degradation modeling procedure that i am following and now let me show you the the process how this degradation let me explain also the, how this degradation degree will look like so this one you now toward the right toward the left the implant the, this is the condition of the implant after one month and toward the left toward the left toward the right this is the condition of the implant after six months so this is the condition this is the modeling that i'm going to process in my uh, that i'm going to present in this model let me give you a, let me give you an overview of this project so this is the this is the shape of the implant or uh, the shape of the vascular implant similarly for the vessel and the the material of PLA that I'm using is same. We have to, for uh, so let me explain this damping. Why I'm adding this damping because this implant, when they are placed inside the stunt, they have got four different. They have gone through four different processes. First one is crimping, uh, then is it is expansion, and this it is recoil. So this is a highly dynamic process. We, we need to add a sort of damping in order to avoid the excessive element distortion. Secondly, the density, the elastic portion, the depth for, for element removal. Similarly, there are four different phases, the crimp phase, the expansion and the recoil. And the fourth one is the element depth phase. We have to simulate this whole process and the interaction, the boundary conditions. And we need to uh, apply this outward velocity in a different phases. Uh, in order to uh, simulate the expansion phase, I need we need to apply the outward velocity, and this velocity should be applied at the inner surface of the implant. Let me show you the condition of the implant after the certain phases. So these are the phases of the. So, so first one is the crimping phase. So in the crimping phase, we need to apply the in inward velocity in order to fix the implant inside the vascular uh, body or the vascular, uh, uh, what we call as a vascular uh, material or vascular in our vascular field. So in our vascular vessel. In the second phase, it is a recoil phase. The first one is a crimp phase. The second one is a recoil phase. Uh, sorry, the expansion phase. In expansion phase, the external velocity is applied and then there is a recoil phase. In the last phase, it is the element deletion phase. So we know that. So this is the condition of the implant after six after six months. So this is the process that I've ex I have exactly repeated the process for the uh, bone plate as well. So this is a bone that has been fractured at this point, and I, I have attached the. Uh, uh, so this is a bone plate that has been fractured at this point. Now I have attached a bone plate to it in order to model the degradation process. So this one, I have applied. So as we all know that the degradation is a function of not only the time, it is also the function of strain as well. So we need to induce a sort of strain in the form of either a tensile pull or either a compressive uh, push. So first of all, a sort of straining is applied. And in the next step, so you can see after the straining and after certain days, like after two months, this is the condition of the biodegradable bone plate. So th that's all regarding the project. Now let's compare the result of the paper, result of my model with the research of the research, uh, with the result of the research paper that I'm, uh, that I'm using as a reference. So this is a research paper that I'm using as a reference as, as I have already told you. Now scroll to the bottom. So this is the same model, just the geometry is a bit different. The vessel, the stunt is enclosed inside the vessel. These are the degradation curves for different uh, strain, for different pre-stretching, like different initial strain, which is in the form of requiring expansion and crimping. I have already shown you the degrade how to calculate the degradation degree in the uh, in, uh, in my Excel sheet. Secondly, this is fracture stress degradation degree. The element death criteria is based on this one, 
and these are the result now you can see this g is basically the curve after the 6 month so this 6 month this 6 month element death of the paper is this one this g and this is our results so the results are pretty close to each other now after checking the mass to initial mass mass property is done you can also check the resultant uh, resulting mass loss inside this stunt and then you can compare as well now coming to the final thing how you can download this model so for this you need to go to uh, arslanmaa.com so then we need to click on design and simulation project so at design and simulation project uh, this is the project. Uh, this is the fees of the project. The will be charge for the project, uh, and these are the details that how this uh, the one will get benefit from this type of project. This is the detail. And in order to purchase the project, you need to click on home again, and then you click on contact us. From click, you need need to enter your name, Arsala, your email address and the title of the project in this case it is basically degradation of bio degradable or modeling degradation in implant it's, it should be 16 and then you can submit it here and then i'll receive the message this is how you can purchase this project uh, thank you very much for your time i hope to see you, I hope to see you again with the next, with next some exciting project. Thank you. Bye bye.